want to get back to Interstate 30 this afternoon. Uh, and I was, uh, you know, Keith mentioned it too. He was on his way into work. I was on my way into work yeah. too. It was just a driving rainstorm, and it knew that it was raining quite a bit. It was windy. Didn't realize that basically what was happening ahead What's of me was on? this storm that was unfolding uh, until I got to the 4:30-30 uh, split, and I saw that 30 was backed up and took uh, 30. Uh, Susan Corey is covering this part of the uh, story for us. Susan, you're along uh, Interstate 30 there. Uh, tell us about what you've been able to see today. Well, Bob, I'm in the Little Rock Fence Co. parking lot, and this is where we're seeing some of the worst damage in the I-30 area. Right behind me, you can see their warehouse definitely took a beating, metal siding ripped off, and then just up, you can see the path that this storm took, knocking down trees, there's insulation, you can see their building had its roof ripped off. There was debris scattered across the highway. Crews have since cleaned that up, but even across the way there, you can see where power lines have been knocked over as well as trees. And I do want to show you just how powerful the wind was in this. This is part of a metal door that was ripped off the warehouse, and you can see it's actually bent. Now, we did shoot video earlier where you can see semi trucks in the adjacent parking lot that were knocked over. Luckily, I'm told no one was inside of that truck, but there were two people at the Little Rock Fence Co. at the time. I talked to one man who was in his truck in the parking lot. Here's what he had to say. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I really didn't. I, I started the truck up. I thought the back up, but I didn't know which way it was coming. You know, if it was coming in front of me or behind me, I didn't know if I was driving into it. So I just hunkered down, ride it down. <laughs> when you got out, what did you see? Destruction. Now, no one was hurt here. Little Rock police do tell me a driver was injured on I-30 when a sign hit their car, but they just had minor injuries. Now, the next step here is cleanup. They did have people out repairing the roof, but they tell me this is going to take quite a while to pick up from. Back to you.